Here we go. Leaf badge. We need this. Oh, this is about to be crazy. All I need is one acorn collar. Give me one acorn collar. I don't like picking up badges because it fucks with your pool, but give me one acorn collar. And I'm selling you. I promise. That's all I need is one acorn collar. Or do I keep it to the rest of the game? Yeah, Chris would be insane, but like the the, the freaking the other items that the, 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 the pool the, the, the item pool would be congested with this BS of BSery that we don't need. You know what I mean? Keep it in a box. You can just roll with it in the box. Keep it. Wait, what? No, that what? Wait, what? That doesn't work. Wait, does that work? Does that actually work? If it's in the box, you won't get the items? I swear, even if it's in the box, you still get ranger items. Or is that a different item? Is that a different item? There's an item where if you buy it, you put it in the box, but you still get like the items. You know what I mean? You do it all the time. All right, bet. <laughs> I don't want to test it though, because I, I do kind of want. Should I test it? But what if we get the acorn collar? Should I keep? Okay, are we keeping this for the rest of the game? Because it can help with extra crit chance, which would be great. Or do we sell it as soon as we see an acorn collar? Because we don't need it. I just want an acorn collar. Oh, that's stone badge. Oh, oh, see? That's just my fault for not reading. <laughs> what kind of start do I even do here? Like, do we even bother? Do we even bother with bro? Or do we just go short bow? And, um, what you call it? Totem. I think broom is still better. But then again, I can rock two brooms. Who is, oh, stop, stop dinging. <laughs> Anyways. I can rock two short bows, which will be more DPS than one singular broom. I don't know what to do. I think I want two short bows, even though that's eight gold versus four, bro. And not to mention, like, we, our pool has eight new items in it now. <laughs> I think that's what we'll do, though. Just because we got it, we might as well use it. And we'll do a situation like this. You know, this would be really good with uh, Infinite Heat build too, because this gives you the clovers needed for the giraffe. Neem, you changed your name? What the heck? You're back. Holy shit. <laughs> I missed you too, Neem. Should I get his pig? I'm gonna get the pig next round. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we definitely lose. A whetstone. Anytime I see a whetstone in round one, that's just an in that's just kill me already, bro. Just get me out of the game. I know. I know. I know. We don't pick up any clovers though, right? Oh my god, my brain, bro. I'm like, should I do this? Should I do that? I'm end up getting no wins. <laughs> uh You like my new apartment? I'm not in an apartment. I'm still with my mom. <laughs> I did not change. Thank you for the hat though. Thank you. Clovers are no good. We just want it for the acorn. Yes. Now my second question is, do I get walrus tusk? Cause tusk and poker is nice. Second question is, do I get another short bow? Cause my stamina is a one a second, which I could rock this and literally not even need bananas. Cause it's not like shields are going to do anything to me. If I get a second short bow, I might start needing bananas, no? One bow isn't enough DPS, you're right. So I should probably just W key for that bow as soon as possible, right? Just W key for the second bow ASAP. The room looks different. I probably rearranged it or something. Is the hat new at least? Yeah, it's, this is gonna be my, um. I like going on hikes and trails and walks and stuff. So this is my hat that I use. Yeah, you think so? Okay, I'm picking this up. We still got six gold left over.
Man. F you and your cheap viewers, Souza. I don't want it. I don't know if these are great choices or not. <laughs> I don't know. I bought this because it's on sale. I bought Healing Herb because of Hungry Blade, and I bought the stone for the bag of stones. Now, that might have been a bad choice, and maybe I should have actually started W King <laughs> for the bow and arrow. Uh, we might win this, though. Okay, we actually do win this. Okay. I'm happy about that. I am happy about that. Now, game, please. Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. Nice. Nice. Our, our DPS should be complete now. That's enough DPS. We should buy Soka sometime. It has the best shells. Yeah, Atlanta does have some pretty amazing trails. I'd love to get into some bicycling. That'd be great. Man, I really don't like having this in my bag, though. I really don't. It scares me. I mean, then again, there's only a handful of items it can actually give you. Which is just one... Two, three, four, five. It only adds five new items to the pool. So I guess it's not that horrible. Ooh, the oof. I should probably try to increase my crit chance, right? It's like, cause like, why is that there? All right, that's way better. Okay, this gives me clovers as well, and that can help with crit chance. <laughs> if we can start critting our short bows with the poison and everything. That'd be really, really good, I think. And our survivability sucks though, so there, you know, there's that. Nice. Damn, I don't have enough for both of those. Well, yes, I do. I can just sell you. Roll without it in the box. But acorn collar. <laughs> I want to do that, but I want to get acorn collar first. And it's a higher chance you'll get it in like... Wait, what is my... Uh, what is this? A nature or epic? We had a 10% chance of finding it. I'm on round 8 and I got my cauldron. Still haven't seen a single mob. Oh damn. Have faith. You're going to get three of them. I'm predicting it now. You get three. But yeah, I want an acorn collar. <laughs> I think we're fine. He's got a lot, a lot of DPS. Ouch. Health force is already proc, which is not great. Nice. Okay, that was really good. Okay. I don't want that. I'll take this. Space on sale. Man, give me the, give me, give me. All you gotta do is give me one acorn. That's it. That's all I ask for, game. One, one acorn, please. Can you try, um, can you try mana borb on pyro? I just can't do it. I did it successfully one time. The video is going up tomorrow. <laughs> Where's my stamina? How am I out of stamina? They don't even have a shield. I am sad. But yeah, I did it one time. It's very hard. It's extremely hard. I do not recommend that pain on anyone. Not a single soul. We sell bows and arrows here, right? Because we have Hungry Blade now. Right? Oh, nice. Yeah. It was not fun, though. <laughs> the struggle was real. I think we sell short bows here. If I'm not mistaken, we sell short bows here. I want to keep the shell totem because uh, we just got the bag of stones. Empowerment, bag of stones, good. And we just shell the short bows because we don't need these. Yeah.
Um. Maybe. Maybe this one is actually better because this, I mean, this is one clover every 2.5 seconds. I have to get 10 buffs. That's like 30 seconds. That's never going to happen. Probably Hunger Blade is better, but I'm not going to get 10 buffs from this. So maybe I shouldn't even worry about it. I shouldn't even worry about min-maxing my toad. Okay, you don't have mana generation. That's a, that's that's really good. But that is infinite DPS coming from Axe Boy. What's my crit chance? 10%. 10% is better than no percent. Oh, I could use this on a uh, bag of stones. I just realized that. My bag of stones can crit too. I mean, hitting for 10 damage instead of five is good. You should have taken a Nocturne or Lock Lifter. You're doing Porb, right? Or, or uh, Bomb? Potion Bomb? Okay, I just screamed in y'all's ears. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay. What do we sell? What do we sell? What do we sell? I just couldn't find enough uh, morphs early. So mana from Quasar wasn't helping me keep you alive. Gotcha. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense actually. That's true. What do I sell? Or do I just wait till next round? Flying Arlic? This is probably the, the only, th I don't need you. I don't need you. Healing herbs help, piggy banks good, good, good. Everything is good except for you. All right, now I can finally get my Reaper items. Okay, so how are we gonna set this up? What's, what's the best way to set this up right now? What's the best way? Um, I say crits on stone, uh, uh, bag of stones, crits on bag of stones, at least one stone or whatever. It's probably great. So something like this, it's probably a W boom, massive as massive DPS right there. And then we can do you there and this here. Nice. Get you out the way, and then we'll just try to minimax you like that. Totem isn't really important. Maybe like one empower from it, one or two. But I mean, it can turn this from a two to four to like a four to eight, or a three to five. And not to mention if it ends up critting as well, which that could be really good too. <laughs> we'll see how much damage the stones do here, and how much empowerment we gain from it. Yeah, it's mainly for the stones. Oh no. Oh, it's 22 critical. Keep them coming. And then the bag of stones are critting too. 18 critical. That's game. We only got one empowerment right there though. So you were kind of right. You, <laughs> Not even kind of, you were right, actually. Stones did, I mean, the stones did a pretty nice amount of damage though. 40 damage. I mean, like, more, more like 50 damage. They did pretty good. All right, Alchemist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we kind of need to get ourselves another Hungry Blade. That's going to be really important right now. Do I need space? Let's see, if I were to set this up, how would I set it up right now? Here? Here? Okay, so maybe I don't need to, ah, uh, yeah. Maybe I don't need the space then. I could just keep rolling. Hello! That is perfect, actually. That is so perfect. Oh, wait, I should put Toad on Cauldron. Huh. Um. That's not bad. All right, this is looking good. Okay, your first war was round eight, just like me. Okay, I didn't have a crit. Uh, I didn't have crit though, and I had a torch instead of rocks. 
You have mana torch or like a regular torch? I think we win this. Oh yeah, we definitely do. With cauldron on our on our side, we got three empowerment. Berserk. If we survive berserk mode, we win. Seven empowerments. We still almost lost. How the hell did we get seven empowerment? We proc this mana orb. I wasn't expecting to actually proc the mana orb, but we actually proc the mana orb and got a shit ton of more empowerment. Good game. Not to mention we had like 20 clovers at the end of that. For just straight pure crits. Another one. Right on time too, because we're selling this, buying this. That's too strong, uh, whatever is down. So now that we have this extra weapon, we probably just replace this area with this guy. I mean, I guess we could do this too. And that way the bag of stones isn't like completely useless. At least it could still crit. Like that's not horrible. Um, the only issue is this now. Like what do I want to do with this down here? Maybe I want to put it up here. I think I do want to put it up here and then we could do this. How's that? Oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna okay, you found your second one on round nine. <laughs> found your second one on round nine. <laughs> oh, you had a regular choice? Just figured out to get him uh, some more um scaling damage while I'm looking for orbs slash blades. Let me know how that goes. Cause I kinda do want to try it with a nocturnal lock lifter myself and see how that goes. I could get this now. Like I could just sell the pig and two healing herbs and get it now, but I don't think I need to. I'm feeling confident in this build. I actually don't think I need to do that. I say that and then we lose. Okay, no hungry blade, just a straight thorn whip. Infinite DPS scaling on it though. So there's that. So there's that. And then not to mention the burning banner is just destroying my vampirism. The crits though, the crits though, the crits though. Let's go. The crits are making this insane. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what do I buy? Which one do I buy first? I can't get both. Can I? Is it smart to try to get both? I could just get rid of bag of stones. That's a whole four gold. That's a four, five, six, seven, uh, six, seven, eight. Damn, I need eight. Unless I just sell over a uh, healing herb. What do I do? Oh, <laughs> I'm about to sell a healing herb, bro. I'm about to sell a healing herb. I just kind of don't want to because of the vaporism. With Hungry Blade is nice, you know what I mean? That's like a whole two, a whole two, you know what I mean? But maybe that'll be fine. We're gonna get this to proc anyways. Having this, 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 and this, this is definitely proc, so maybe that's okay. And not to mention, we're gonna get Vampirism from Prismatic Warp anyway, so fuck it. Yeah, selling Healing Herb, and then these two. I don't even need this one. And then we'll just buy both of these, which means that it's time for me to rearrange once again. Keep it like that. Do you think it's smart to keep a hungry blade or keep gaining vamp? Oh, I was actually thinking about that. Like I saw a build where someone had three mana thirst and one hungry blade. Now you have to keep in mind that the prismatic orbs, they give you every single buff, including regeneration. If you have 
an extra hunger blade just lying around this can turn that regeneration to even more vampirism and even more vampirism means even more damage from mana thirst so it's kind of like that's good but then again at the same time if you don't have this fourth mana thirst you might not just kill them at zero seconds you know what i mean so it's kind of like if you i feel like if you're not confident that you're going to kill them at zero seconds maybe it is best to um keep the um hungry blade but if you're confident you're going to be able to kill them at zero seconds then just get four mana thirst and then you're just going to kill them at zero seconds but in this situation that i'm in now i actually don't know i don't know if it's better because then again like this can also proc and that could give me even more buffs and then I get even more vampirism from, you know what I mean? So like, which one is the better situation? Should I turn this or should I not? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. We could test it though. Well, I guess we really wouldn't be able to test it, but like, I'll just not sell it. This is such a very compact setup. Maybe I should just do this instead. Because that's even more mana items, and then I could do that. But then you aren't going to be as fast. I wonder if that one's better. Because it won't be as fast. But then again, like, that's maximizing on mana items. Maybe the speed of the cauldron doesn't matter that much. It's only a 15% faster, I guess. Maybe I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. <laughs> So we gain 11 at the start of the game, and then we're just going to continuously gain the vampirism from, um, from Primi Orb. Damn! That bomb was insane, and then we gain all those buffs to just crit like crazy, which is great. I think I just realized something, too. I kind of do need a bunch of, um, of mana orbs to proc at the beginning of the game, because these are the things that's going to be giving me the clovers. Right? That was a horrible shop. I'm rolling one more time. Hello! <laughs> but yeah, like, is that not, like... Am I going to be able to mana bomb and have my mana bomb crit? Like, am I going to have enough clovers for them to actually crit at the very beginning of the game? Because these aren't going to proc at the beginning of the game unless mana's been used. Which means I need to start the game with prismatic orbs having more than 35 mana for this to use mana. And then instantly proc the mana potions. To proc even more mana orbs to get enough clovers for my crit percentage to be high. But like... No, that wouldn't actually work because I need these to proc for the mana thirst themselves to proc. But I also need these to proc for the mana orbs to, I just said the same thing. For the mana thirst to proc and for the mana orbs to proc. So these will proc, these will probably proc before these or vice versa or whatever. I don't think it worked. End of the day, my brain hurts. I don't think it would work. I don't think I can mana bomb crit because I don't start enough with enough clovers at the beginning of the game. I don't think. Put, uh, put the blueberry on the prim. Oh yeah. I was thinking about that. I could have actually done that. I was thinking of just making the cauldron faster, but that would have probably been smart. But even if I don't orb, like, instant orb, probably, like, the crits are insane. The crits are still doing so much. Should I give it a Whopper Tinger? I don't know. I don't think I want to spend, uh, I feel like we need other things right now that are a little bit more important, like another mana orb and another hungry blade. But like that's slightly more important. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 
23 that time. Okay. This build is insane. It's just a the, it's just leaf badge with this build is just very good. It's just it's just the the fact you can crit just makes the build so much better. Okay, we got six rounds. I need way more of these. I need way more of a lot of things actually. Sure, why not? <laughs> hey, okay. Nice. Okay, that wasn't horrible. That wasn't horrible. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a mana thirst, though. Alright, yeah, that one wasn't horrible. We got a mana orb. We got another blueberry. Like, that wasn't horrible. Morb! I'm feel, I feel like I, I don't think we're gonna lose another game after this at all. And as soon as we get that mana war proc, boom! And then another one, boom! Next thing you know, we're just critting and healing for each each hit is just insane. They were doing pretty damn good though. To be fair, look at our health. They were doing pretty good. But yeah. Nah, I don't want you. Yes. That's pretty huge. I'm gonna get this just just in case. I might be able to get lucky. I feel like my I, I feel like this is just horrible. Like I feel like I can set this up way better somehow. I just don't like how it's set up. Oh, no, this is fine. That's fine. I tried with Dragon Nest in Blue Dragons. It kind of works, but not really. I was looking at that. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. Pause on what you said. What am I looking at? Is this you? <laughs> I know you chose Nocturnal Lock Lifter and you said something about a... Oh, no. You just said something about a dragon. What am I looking at? This is insane. Falcon Blade with Mana Thirst. A Ruby Whelp and a Dagger. This build is actually kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. At least he doesn't have block generation or else these DJ amounts would be trouble. Okay, well... I still feel pretty confident in our build. But their build is pretty insane on its own, honestly. Okay, we're looking decent so far. Ooh, that was a very nice. I feel like we should have kept that Hungry Blade. Because the Hungry Blade scales DPS off of the Vampirism. And then along with the crits can be really nice. That was a huge hit. Okay. The Spectre Daggers is hiding up there. I know, right? But yeah, so these aren't doing as much damage as the Hungry Blade. Because these will only scale off of Vampirism. Keeping the Hungry Blade in a play would have been nice. But then again, at the same time, we procced, we got the 20 mana gain like three times, which did a bunch of damage. It did a bunch of damage. So like, I don't know. We just need more morbs. We honestly do. Here's a thought. This would be easier to proc at the beginning of the game versus a mana orb. It's 10 mana versus 35 mana, which means these would most definitely be procking at the, end, at the start of the game, which means that 20 mana gain threshold would instantly happen at the start of the game. But I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Oh, I forgot I was rolling with you. Shit, I might as well get this now. I was like, how the heck did I get that? I might as well get you. I forgot I was rolling with that. Another one on sale?
That just makes my crits so much better now, at least. Poison build, huh? That's a lot of potions. Oh, you hit me with 65 critical at the beginning of the game. Please don't do that. Please, 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 please have mercy. Please have mercy. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I am sad. No mercy at all. Not a single lick of mercy. It's okay, though. Come come again. Come again. Now that I have this guy, run it back. Run it back. Let me see you again. Oh, yeah. Run it back. Run it back. You lose. 100%. 100% chance. I could sell these for 10 gold. I mean, I'll be at 10. I could get you now. Three rounds? I'm doing it. Okay. I love the froggies, me too. <laughs> oh yeah, we definitely win. Is that is, is that double corrupted heart? We almost mana bombed you? Whoa! Wait, wait, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking, I wasn't looking, I wasn't looking. I'm sad that none of the hits were crits. This is... But they got absolutely destroyed, bro. Fill up the prim orb slots. Okay, I'll fill them up. Oh! Okay, I'll fill them up. I'm filling it up this round. This round they get filled. You think I should just, just move these? <laughs> just do that instead? Maybe so. No. I have regrets. Oh man, I kind of want to use this. Do I need to though? I mean, these are, they're getting 10% more. I guess since these both have that one, it's only fair this goes in there, right? Okay, so we're missing three star slots. I believe just three star slots. Mana bomb? Question mark? Ew! Some of them actually crit! Oh crap. Okay, some of them actually crit. I'm happy about that. I'm so happy about that. Oh my gosh. All right, if I see any mana items, I'm getting it, even though my money is limited. Give me a mana item. No. I'm mad this is so repeatable for you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Damn. Six, seven, eight. <sighs> Should I just roll and hope for a mana orb on sale or something? I could get a blueberry on sale and that'll help. <sighs> I can't get that. No, I can. I can. Is it smart though? Is it smart? It probably is. Is it? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I can't sell any potions. Oh, I can sell this. I can sell this. I can sell this. We don't need you anymore. We don't need you. So I can sell you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hey, Peshka. Sell space? <gasps> You're genius. Okay. You're awesome. I, I was not thinking about that at all. I was not thinking about selling space at all. Is this the only space I can sell? Or can I like... This sells for three? That sells for two. Yeah. Is this the only space I can sell? 
Wait, what if I... How much do these sell for? Three? Okay. Is this the last round? Yeah, it is. You should probably... Uh, you probably shouldn't move your cam, by the way. Oh, like... You know, it was... It used to be in the right corner, and then someone told me, move your cam to the left corner. I can't see buffs. So then I just moved it to my left corner. <laughs> what corner do you guys think it should be? You think I should just move it to the right corner? <laughs> I'll move it, I guess. I'll move it real quick. Uh, we'll do here. Is here? And then, uh, pop. There we go. Okay. So, um, I guess sell stamina sack. Sell this. That'll be six gold. That'll be ten. And then we just like. No, we can set a regeneration. We can set a regeneration. We don't need the regeneration. My mouse just stopped working. Okay, that's perfect. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. All right, now we need to fill up these star slots, which I guess this just goes here. Like that's probably the most important. All right, what do you guys think? I feel like this is probably. The strongest. This is the strongest. Is it the strongest? Is it? Do you do you think this is stronger than Ranger? Mana Bomb? Or no? Only reason I'm questioning it is because the strong mana potions. You can't get this on Ranger. And this is nine mana, and I think the regular mana potions is four. And we have the crits. What do you guys think? Which one do you think is stronger? This setup or Rangers? I could have sold a 4x4. Four four. I should have sold the Potion Belt, realistically. Because the 4x4 the four four gives 2 gold. The Stamp Sack gave 3, and I needed that extra gold. But these also give 3, so this would have been a better sell. This would have been a better sell, for sure. You can use the Potions to fill up the right. And the toads and cauldron to fill up the left. I'm confused. What do you mean? 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 You can use the potions to fill up the right and the toads and the cauldron to fill up the left. So use the potions here and then. So do this. And then just try to fill that guy up over there with this guy like that. I had a whole extra space. Why do I never think about selling space? I, I'm telling I never think about selling space. Okay, sorry. <laughs> my dad's on his radio and it turns my mic off and it's annoying. But anyways, why do they... It keeps on cutting off. I'm sorry, but he has three caps of discomfort, and I'm scared. And he has the maximum health from the snake, which makes it even worse. And I, at least this isn't insta proking. Like I guess that's the bright side. But three cap of discomfort. Do I do I insta kill this guy?
I rocked. Bro. Oh, not the procking. No, this is not looking great. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. Holy. No, please, 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 please. Just win. Just win. Just win. No. No. So close. Three caps. Three. Yeah. So close. 22. Three caps. Three caps of this. That's a little overkill. No, they specifically did that just for this build because there's no way. There's no way. Because what other reason would you need three cavern discounts? What other reason would you need 45% chance of nullifying my buffs and 90% reduction in healing? What other choice? What other builds are there? You purposely did this just for me. Just for me. Stam place? Oh, the stam.